Nirmala Sitharaman, a stalwart in Indian politics and economics. Nirmala Sitharaman, born on August 18, 1959, is a prominent Indian economist, seasoned politician, and a senior leader of the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP. She has held several significant positions within the Indian government, leaving a notable impact on the country's economic and political landscape. Sitharaman's remarkable journey in Indian politics began when she became a member of the Rajya Sabha, the upper house of the Indian parliament, representing Karnataka in 2016. Prior to that, she represented Andhra Pradesh from 2014 to 2016. Her entry into national politics marked the beginning of an illustrious career. One of her most notable achievements was becoming the 28th Defense Minister of India, serving from 2017 to 2019. In this role, she became India's second female defense minister, and her tenure was marked by significant policy initiatives in the defense sector. Nirmala Sitharaman further solidified her place in Indian history by assuming the role of India's finance minister in 2019. She has been responsible for guiding India's economic policies during a period of global economic challenges, and her tenure coincided with India's quest to become the world's fifth largest economy. Her role as the finance minister was particularly significant because she became India's second female finance minister, following the footsteps of the iconic Indira Gandhi, and was the first full-time female minister to hold both the defense and finance portfolios. Before her role as finance minister, Sitharaman served as a junior minister in the Modi ministry, taking up various important positions, including the Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Corporate Affairs, and the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Nirmala Sitharaman's contributions to Indian politics and economics have been substantial. Her leadership and strategic decision-making have played a pivotal role in shaping India's economic trajectory and its global standing. Her legacy continues to evolve as she remains a key figure in the Indian political landscape.